Okay, so here we go. Today's sign, I feel like we're on Sesame Street. Today's sign, kids, is Gemini. So for the Geminis, I wore my cocktail dress. Why? Because I'm out of clothes and because when I think of Geminis, I think of cocktail dresses and I think of makeup and I think of um, great beauty and incredible amounts of communication and learning and intelligence. So let's go. Geminis are ruled by Mercury. That's the planet of communication in all forms and of learning. Their opposite sign is Sagittarius. They are the element of air, so their communication is very swift. It's very fast. Mm. The, they're the symbol of the twins, so the human twins. So the thing about Geminis is they the negative side that people can say about the Geminis is that they can be two-faced. And while that's true, the negative sign of them can be two-faced. They can be nosy and they do like to know other people's business and they have the habit of sharing other people's business. Um, probably because it's just information that they're sharing and information is very interesting to them and perhaps they also think that others do it to them and they're okay with that as well. I don't really know. I'm not a Gemini, although my Mercury is in Gemini, which means I can, in case you haven't noticed, also, because of the Gemini, I've had a little caffeine today. <laughs> Yay! So, you gorgeous creatures, you gorgeous Geminis, let me tell you some famous people that are Geminis. So, Prince the Singer is a Gemini, was a Gemini. Um, Queen Victoria, mm, Angelina Jolie, Marilyn Monroe, Johnny Depp, mm, uh, Donald Trump, John Kennedy. So there's a, there's a myriad of Geminis and you can see in that group um, how different they can all be and how quickly they can change their minds as well. They're very mercurial in what they think and what they say. So it doesn't mean that they're necessarily lying or, or not telling the truth. It just means that they're able to see the truth is changeable, which is fair to some extent because it depends on which side you're looking at the truth. Now, there's some things we can't deny. The sun is in like overhead, but even that, is it overhead? Is it really overhead? It's overhead for me right now, but you may be in Australia and it's not overhead. So that's kind of the Gemini, the mercurial side of Gemini and uh, the position of trying to understand um, the truth in that moment of what that person's speaking about. So when I think of Geminis, I also think of people that are, um, if you think of Gemini men, for example, women for sure, but men, it's easier to see, especially for the people in the US, um, not so much in Europe because it's more popular for men to um, be groomed for, for decades. European men have been really well groomed. And American men, uh, US men are, are catching up for sure, but it hasn't been a part of our culture for the most part. So if you see a Gemini man, most likely they're going to smell good. They're going to be wearing uh, like some really gorgeous, expensive cologne and they have product in their hair and, um, and they're wearing uh, really amazing, some kind of amazing style they have put together themselves. And I really enjoy that and appreciate that. And that said, with my caffeine high, uh, as, a, as a Taurus girl, um, I have also noticed this about Geminis. I have never dated one. I have come close to dating one once and this is what happened. You are amazing and beautiful and fascinating and deep. She is beautiful and fascinating and amazing and deep. And I was like, mm, check, <laughs> like, nope. So they, they have the ability to focus on one thing for a period of time. And then when they see something shiny or interesting, then their focus can quickly shift. And now that doesn't mean that they can't be in deep, long relationships. I have two uh, people in my life that are Gemini sons, 
that have been in marriages for quite some time and are happy and and incredible and one of them was my is my French uh, sister and she was an exchange student three years older than me when I was about 14 15 and she was from Lyon France so I was from Rochester New York knew nothing about style or Europe and here she comes into my life with bright red lips and black eyeliner and jet black hair greased down in the 80s and big pearl earrings and she'd always sniff like the French and she was just I could not get enough of her she introduced me to style and um and boys in a different way especially when I went back to France and uh and 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 you will see from the signs the zodiac signs excuse me that the Tauruses learn from the Geminis, the Geminis learn from the Cancers, the Cancers learn from the Leos. It goes like that. So as a Taurus, I learn a lot from the Geminis. They're very intellectual. They're very social. Um, they'll talk to anybody. They're really easy to talk to. Um, they don't tend to, they, they know a lot about a lot, but only a little about that lot. I hope that made sense. Maybe that was my, that's my caffeine and my mercury and Gemini. And they can talk. They're talkers. Uh, anyone that knows me knows that I can talk. For Taurus, I'm a talker. Mm -hmm. I also have noticed, and then the other story I think I'd like to share is uh, my other, one of my best friends is a Gemini man. And when I used to go running with him, he would come with me. And I'd run like a little fire plug, like just like just focus, like that's it, focus. Like a heavy, even though I'm not very heavy, just like a thousand pounds of just moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. And he was like much taller than I am and much longer than I am. And he was like air and he would jump literally as I would be running like this. He would be jumping around me and annoying the hell out of me and laughing about it because he knew it annoyed me. He would run and, and he would make circles around me <laughs> and he would twirl on and off the pavement. <laughs> and he was delighted in it. He was completely delighted in making fun of me. And I think Gemini's can enjoy that. I think uh, my dear French sister really enjoyed making fun of me too in a very loving way. Um, and regardless, the, the Gemini's, they... Um, they are really, really interested in everything, and and therefore they are really interesting themselves. Uh, that trick is just how nosy they can be, and to make sure that they're not sharing everybody's deep secrets, because they don't tend to hold things to be super deep or precious, as they may be to another human being. I've also noticed that Gemini moons, I know some Gemini risings as well, but Gemini moons I have a tremendous amount of people that have Gemini moons in my life. And so what that would mean is Gemini moons, how you hold uh, your emotions um, would be mercurial. It would be, you would think through all of your emotions. Instead of feeling your emotions, you literally would analyze them and talk about them, which makes them so much fun only for the people that really like to talk about their emotions or are open to talking about things. I am one of those people, so I adore it. Uh, but I can only imagine someone like a Capricorn who is not that keen about talking about emotions to <laughs> me, their eyes rolling back in their head, or someone with an Aquarius, Aquarius moon. I, I suppose if it was being talked about, it's different than feeling it, though. So, um, and their, um, if they have their moon in Gemini, um, they're very open to discussing anything, which I also adore. I think that's such a... Um, they're so open-minded and there's no subject that's off limits, which I find the most fascinating. It's so fascinating to be able to talk to another human being who may not have any of the answers, but is open, like all of us, by the way, but is open to pushing the peas on the plate around. Just talking about everything is completely delightful. So anything else I would like to add about the twins? Um, they are fun, they are friendly, um, they're warm, they're social, they're great to have to a party, um, 
they're great to have around, especially if you have someone that's shy and doesn't know how to engage and talk with people. And they're great to learn from in that way as well. Uh, they're very intellectual. Uh, they can have a tremendous style, like just tremendous style, from my opinion. Um, and I think that's enough. So with that said, um, I'm going to leave a link at the bottom. I do astrological readings that are very deep and intuitive and very personal. And the reason I do that is to um, help people see the the greatest aspects of themselves and also where their challenges lie. And I find where the challenges lie actually to be um, treasure troves. Because once we know where they lie, we have the ability to do something different with when we don't judge ourselves. Anyways, so I'll leave that below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day, morning, night, whatever you're doing.